Clear of the closing doors, please. Those annoying subway announcements, they're actually voiced by real people. Charlie Pellet will be familiar to most New York City residents as the stand clear of the closing doors guy. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. That friendly female voice is Carolyn Hopkins. She voices public service announcements in hundreds of locations around the world, including the New York City subway, LaGuardia Airport, and she was also once a talking dishwasher. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Bernie Wagenblast can be heard as the voice of the 1 through 6 trains. He provides updates on the next possible train coming through, but to do that, he had to record over a thousand different elements, including every numbered street, well past 250th Street, as well as uptown, downtown, northbound, southbound, Brooklyn bound, as well as a few alternative announcements. The next downtown number three train. What makes for the perfect voice for subway announcements? Well scientists say the number one acoustic element that determines how we feel about a voice. It's a speaking rate. People who speak a little slower than normal are perceived as more friendly. Certain people, including charismatic politicians, voiceover artists and actors can exert greater motor control over their voices. Although sometimes I wish they would just hurry up. But if you've ever lived in a city like Los Angeles or Melbourne, Australia, where I'm from, you know what it means for a city when they don't have a comprehensive subway system. It means more urban sprawl and more people popping up in communities that don't have access to great public transport. That leads to a greater need for a car and then more transport clogging the city and releasing greenhouse gases into the air. Subways are really expensive to build so a lot of city planners and state planners don't want to fund them but they mean so much for the life of a city. If you happen to live in a city that has an awesome subway go out and celebrate. Your city planners knew what they were doing. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.